ladies and gents, this might be the biggest Call of Duty supply drop opening ever. Oh my god, he's back. Everyone, give him a slow round of a applause. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another, another one, Elite Shot video. I don't have to really, I don't know why I have to even say that, to be honest. This is a special video for several reasons. I'm gonna get straight to it. Shout out to the man, Valiant Wolf. His name depicts exactly what he's allowing us to do today. Wolves represent guardianship, ritual, loyalty, and spirit. Yeah, I have it written down. And valiant means courageous and determination. So, yo, this man whose links are in the description, his Twitter, his Twitch, definitely check him out, say Elite Shot sent ya. Over 2,000 supply drops. You think I'm playing? Well, we are about to play, but I'm not joking here. He's been saving every single supply drop, every bribe, every specialty drop, the uniforms, the camo bribes, the specific weapon bribes, the gear, everything. He's been saving everything you can acquire since the beginning of World War II. Ladies and gents, this might be the world's biggest supply drop opening ever. The biggest Call of Duty supply drop opening ever. World record supply drop opening in Call of Duty World War II. The biggest, the most, the best, the elite. I'm, I just can't get over how many this man saved. Yes, right now we are currently playing on the Xbox. That's why the quality is gonna look kind of different than my other World War II vids since I normally play on the PlayStation 4 Pro that has higher quality, but it's no big deal. You know why? Look at this. Take a quick look at this. You guys want to open them for me? Everyone gets to open one. If you're watching this, you get to open one. I'm out. You guys can open them yourself. I don't want to open them. You can open them. 666 supply drops, 740 rare supply drops, 43 zombie supply drops, 52 rare zombie supply drops, 5 weapon bribes, an epic supply drop, 178 winter supply drops, 9 winter bribes, 220 resistance supply drops, 5 resistance bribes. You think we're done? No, the list scrolls down. Yes, there's more. 2 epic bribes, 3 uniform bribes, 8 heroic uniform bribes, 8 heroic weapon bribes, 1 epic resistance Resistance uniform bribe. Oh my goodness, the list goes on. Nine epic weapon bribes, one epic uniform armory uh, drop, two weapon camel armory drops, 15 blitzkrieg bribes. Oh, you, you think we're done? <laughs> we're not done. What's that? A helmet bribe. Another helmet armory drop, five emote armory drops, 15 undead bribes, five assault rifle bribes, 10 submachine gun gun bribes. Two light machine gun bribe, six sniper rifle bribes, and uh, five shotgun bribes. Two undead uniform bribes, two mountain division uniform bribe, one armor division uniform bribe, three airborne division uniform bribes, two infantry division uniform bribes. I think there's even more. Forty-four zombie consumable supply drops, four liberty strike bribes, one freedom fighter bribe, two freedom fighter uniform bribe, one freedom fighter bribe, two cavalry division uniform bribe, one solstice helmet bribe, two solstice uniform bribe, one solstice weapon bribe, twenty-seven days of summer bribe, and the list goes on. Twenty-one cover storm bribe, four commander division uniform bribe, one shot bribe, and five Halloween scream bribe. This has to be a record, a world record. This many things to open up. This is going to take me so long to open all of these, but it's going to be my mission, my goal to open every single one. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, if you're ready for this massive opening, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, join the Elite Empire, road to 2 mil during BO4, we can make it happen. And like I said, definitely check out Valiant Wolf in the description below. I'll include his Twitter, his Twitch. Say Elite Shot sent you and a massive thank you. One more thing. Guys, I saved the best for last, kinda here. This is something that's been in the works for a while and it's finally here. I'm not gonna say it, I'll just show you. Boom! Is that an official Elite Shot scuff controller? The brand new, the official battle hardened Elite Shot Eagle scuff impact controller can we just appreciate this badassness this awesomeness shout out to dane henry the artist who helped design it 
He made my vision come true. This battle-hardened eagle on this black camo base controller. There's bullet holes and bullets flying. We got these cool looking stripes that add a nice detail. The crosshair repping the Elite Shot Empire with more bullet holes and just epicness. I've been with Scuff since 2015 and this has been in the works for a while. I've always wanted my own controller and we finally made it happen. It took us years and it's finally here. So the impact is only usable on the PlayStation 4. I actually have more mock-ups for the normal PlayStation 4 controller and for Xbox made. I'll put them on screen. You guys can check these out. The designs, in my opinion, are equally, if not more badass than this one is, which I absolutely love. This is the impact. Eagle looking extra mean. And I'm in love with this, this uh, pattern, this, this design. So this goes out to all you guys. If you're new or you're a longtime fan and you're sticking with the Empire, you're a COD fan just like me, you don't give up, you keep playing, this controller goes out to you. And since this video is so special, with the most supply drops thanks to Valiant Wolf, I think I want to give away my brand new controller. I recently announced the winner of the previous scuff on my Twitter. Definitely stay tuned. I did also send them a message, so the winner's chosen. But this time, I want to give away my controller. The battle-hardened Elite Shot Eagle, which, not gonna lie, looks even better in person. It's kind of tough to pick up in pictures, but the background is this, like, camo pattern. You can kind of see it on the edges there. If you guys want the chance to win my brand new battle-hardened impact controller, like the video subscribe to the empire and click the link in the description to increase your chances of winning by following me on twitter my facebook my instagram my snapchat making a tweet commenting on this video i want you guys to comment when you joined the elite empire the elite shot empire how long have you been battle hardened without further ado ladies and gents boys and girls please sit back Relax and enjoy the world's biggest supply drop opening ever. Does that sound good? Or how about the world's biggest Call of Duty supply drop opening? So for starters, I don't want to open the supply drop or the rare ones. I want to open some of the lesser ones first, like the single ones. I'll save the weapons for last. Man, we got so many... <laughs> There's so many supply drops. Here, like I said, I'm going to open the ones where there's single ones for last. Let's start out with the Shamrock Bribe. We'll start with some luck. And before I start screaming some more, I'm going to grab some water. Let's throw it right in front. Right in front of the candy corn, which I do not like, by the way. What do we got? First drop. Biohazard. Pot of gold launcher and M amphibious SMG submachine gun camo. All right, guys, so for most of these drops, I'm probably not going to read them. I'm probably only going to stop when there's something good. If I try to read every single one, it'll legit take like 10 hours. So for the most part, I'm going to open them pretty quickly. So keep your eyes peeled, man. I'm not sure how many I'm going to include in this video. And that's definitely not going to fly. That's 100% not, not going to happen. All right, we got Commando Division Uniform Bribes. Got four of them. Valiant Wolf, you are a monster. You are a courageous, a determined wolf that has saved up an insane amount. That's actually pretty sweet. Skeletal Commando. Jeez Louise, can't read. This is going to be a long one. Skeletal Commando Camo. That's awesome, actually. Let's open another. What do we got here? Polish Specs, Battle Axe, uh, Regime, Hot Dog. Come on. Russian operator. Ooh, that sunset camo, though. One more to go. Looking good. Ooh, handler. Commando uh, heroic outfit. That's actually really, really nice looking. I still want to save the Halloween for the end. Covert storm. I'm going to open these instead. Cavalry division. Let's see what we get. I just want to get through these first. I like how they also... Oh, shoot. What? Bro, it's already good. 
the skeletal cavalry camo the untamed 2 mg81 the boonie yo th that outfit's like it's trying to copy fortnite oh my god they're copying fortnite i push y but it doesn't actually work what bubbling brew he actually got a sick outfit that's the most expensive thing in here whoa dude solstice uniform bribe he has two of them come on down in front of this dude with a mask on i don't know new zealand summer little biscuit dude that's pretty cool looking not heroic but still a nice variant how about this one Ooh, crusher ultra okay solstice weapon bribe okay this this might be something promising here, here goes nothing. No surrender. The three-line rifle. It's not my account, but I almost wish it was. He just got the newest sniper rifle, I'm pretty sure. Epic. He got a Canadian tanker helmet. Probably don't have to read anything. That's like a gear. You guys can read. Do we got. Ooh, 60-second naval two. Fly swatter and single action calling card animated nmo nmo resistance uniform optical 25th regime perfecto and that's those and we're done just kidding only 2000 plus more to go bum, 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 bum. i'm just getting these out of the way because there's only a few of them and it kind of takes you know, a while to go through. Undead uniform bribe. Okay, that Reaper skin is just is just so cool. Thirteenth Demi Brigade. Dude, there's some pretty cool looking outfits. Not gonna lie. French uh Legionnaire. Yo, if Valiant doesn't get like all of the the weapons, I think he should uh demand his time back saving this many and if he doesn't get all of them i would be so like i'd be so impressed in a bad way what do we got here polo trooper task force nine some more outfits to go with his collection sushi relic and indian head well that's that's those we got plenty more to go folks Epic resistance uniform bribe. Throw it down there, partner. What do you got? Ooh, this is looking good. Epic. Red Army Commando 2. A new outfit. Soviet Underground actually looks really badass with the bulge strap. <clears throat> Reminds me of the controller. And the one soon to come for Xbox and the other PlayStation controller. How about this? Epic. Oh, he just got the new one. It's called the 226, aka the VMG 1927. That just came out not too long ago, bro. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna have to check some of this out. Maybe I should have showed you guys beforehand, like, all the weapons he doesn't have. Let's go through the list. I already got a few. Wow, he has a few, too. I'm pretty sure he unlocked them through, like, the challenges you do in the game. Still, very cool that he has these. So the NZ41 just recently came out. You know what? He actually has more than I thought. But we will be getting a lot of variants that he's not going to have. The Proto X1. The EMP44. Light machine guns. He doesn't have the Stinger yet. And we just got this for him. Now Sniper's lever action. He needs. Needs the D-Isle. He just got the three-line rifle. Come on up. Looking pretty. What the hell is this? The SDK 9mm. Alright, that looks cool. Then for shotguns, the blunderbuss. But they don't have any other ones for now. Alright, so you saw his stuff. Now, let's keep opening. Definitely stay tuned, guys. All my social media links are in the description. Along with my game and essentials. The things I use to improve my game. Check them out so you don't miss out. And definitely uh, use discount code ELITE or ELITE SHOT to save, depending on the thing you're getting. 
How about this? Clinical nurse. Volunteer. M1 Grand. Bro, we're going to see so many variants. Variants that I didn't even know existed. The old guard. Ooh, electric blue. And we just got him the new sniper. Wait, what? Thing got like two triggers on there. The SDK 9mm. Okay, you know what? I have to check this out. I'm sorry, folks. We just got the SDK 9mm. Bolt action sniper rifle with built-in suppressor that offers a generous one-shot kill zone. All right, so I'm guessing it's a better of this. Look it. It does nine damage. This has eight damage. This has nine range. This has seven range. This has six accuracy. All right, so it shoots slower, but it does one shots. Oh my, this thing is so cool. It's not heroic, but it doesn't look horrible either. I feel like they stepped up their game in terms of heroic sniper rifles, or they stepped up the look of epic camos. This is really, really cool. You know what makes the sniper so good? The fact that it kills a one shot. You know what makes this better? The fact that it kills a one shot with a suppressor. Two more sniper bribes. But I think within uh, the, you know, World War II, within the year, the developers actually buffed up like supply drops and what you get. Check it out. The Patriot, Epic Carabin, and the Royal, Epic Enfield. So they increase the chances of getting good stuff from supply drops. You don't get all junk and duplicates. Oh my gosh, man. The Carabin Husky 2 Heroic Variant. Yeah, we're getting some good stuff, all right. A lot more chances to uh, get some good variants. For real, guys, if you haven't dropped a like or subscribed to my channel already, definitely drop a sub. This man just got the pipe bomb. The EMP-44 Epic SMG. And yes, we have to check this out. It legit just came to the game and boom, we got it. I thought it was going to take a while. Nope, we just got it. You got the pipe bomb. Dude, this is sick looking. Ooh, now, more importantly, let's see how it handles. For one, I like the iron sights. Are you kidding me? Dude, this doesn't have attachments, and it already feels like a better MP40. We got six submachine gun bribes. Here it goes. And with the skeletal gear, of course, gotta be in the mood. Epic. Oil can, the WAF-28 epic variant. Epic. The brawler. Hey, Ribby Rollies, don't sleep on it. Epic variant, pretty solid. Epic. Rare Earth, the Proto X1. Nice. Five bribes, we'll open these bribes. As I said, I'm gonna have to like go pretty quick through them just so I don't take too long because editing this video is gonna be a, a little pain in the butt cheeks. It's gonna take some time, but it will be worth it. And if you're still watching, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for sticking with me and the EE, -E, baby. Elite Empire. We better them best. We elite. All right, this is almost the pace. I'm going to have to open them when we go through because there's just going to be too many, mate. Too many. Nice. Holy. This is a real reaction. The Pacific Front 2. The Proto X1. Heroic variant. All right. That was so worth it right now. That was worth. I'm not going to do this for every single gun I get, but the weapons that stand out to me, I will, because there's ones I don't have that just came out that I want to try. Fancy. Look at these iron sights. Beautiful. All right, so this definitely needs extended. Easier to control than I was expecting. I mean, for the most part. I still think that new one that just dropped is even easier. Yeah, this needs a grip pretty bad. And extended. Let's go full auto. Okay, it's got some kick to it. You gotta give props to Sledgehammer Games for updating their game, coming out with new content, and not just giving up because not as many people play. So, I have nothing but respect for developers. You know, people like to say content creators suck up to them. I don't think people realize how much work they actually put into the game. And if you don't like it, you don't have to play. It's honestly that simple. There's no reason to hate, no reason to say they suck. Instead, be like, you know what? I just don't like the game, and maybe I'm not that good at it. Can't you just say something like that instead of saying they suck or the game sucks and it's the worst kind ever made and Kai's dead? Commando, I actually like that too. We have more to go though. Whoa! That's sick! 
The M2 Carbine Heroic, it says Freedom on it. That's actually a really cool variant. Days of Summer, let's go Undead Bribes. Every time we get duplicates, that's more points in the bank, baby. Hypnosis. Lifeline. I'm honestly expecting this dude to have all the variants. Whoa! What? Expeditionary camo. Okay, that's probably the best troll outfit ever. Everyone hates Don by fire shotguns. If I were to get that skin on my account, I would make a video dedicated to trolling people. Got four more Blitzkrieg bribes. I'm like really happy for Valiant. I'm, I'm glad he allowed us to open these. Royal Tank Corpse. Like it's making me feel good that I'm getting cool stuff for him. MVP. That's cool up in charm. Looks like the MOAB, honestly. Rebunker or re rebooker, rebucker. And field number two, epic variant, mechanized infantry. Two more to go. I want to get these zombie ones out of the way. Just cause. There's 44, so it's going to be a bit. But I'll scroll through pretty quick. So I have to, like, change. Okay, I don't honestly play zombs. So, like, we're probably going to fast forward through this for the most part. You can still get, like, customization stuff for it. But most of it is it's the consumable. Okay, we got those out of the way. Will I get more points since there's more people standing right here? Or nah? Bro, this Reaper is looking sweet! 27 days of summer. Weapon bribe. The zombie supply drop. Let's go with the days of summer. That's more drops opened up. Halloween scrim, epic, ep heroic weapon, resistance. Let's go with these five weapon bribes, folks. Five weapon bribes. Epic. American Muscle Stinger LMG. It's like the Bren, but a lot more accurate. Polish Winter Bacon epic. Duck Soup. Yo, if that was heroic. Still, Duck Soup is sick. It's actually like one of the best weapons epic. in the game. Royal Skull. Nice, looking fancy. Ooh, Halloween. Call of Duty World War II. And Sons of Mars MP40 Epic. That Eastern Dragon. Hey, I'm from the East Coast. Not not super East, though. Uh, Pumpkin Stove Pipe. Alright, got those done. This is tempting me. Oh. Let's not forget to accept the payroll. Hello, gentlemen. Wow, remember the whole list we had? Well, the list has been broken down quite a bit. I want to get these zombie supply drops out of the way, just because. I want to, like, pretty much toss them in here. At some point, I'm going to try to get on top of this building and open some from up there. Oh, here, a little switcheroo. Ah, uh, the classic switcheroo. You think you're getting something good? Nope. Here's some zombie drops. These take extra long to open up. Epic. Scarecrow. Yeah, I told you guys I was going to switch outfits. It's not like you're seeing it that much. Heroic. Duck soup too! Okay, I don't know if you guys realize, this is like, in my opinion, one of the best weapons, one of the best variants in the game. Remember, variants are only cosmetic. However, <clears throat> sometimes a variant will have better iron sights than the base weapon, thus making it easier to use. I feel like people um, kind of underappreciate Call of Duty in the later months, like Black Ops 4 is dropping in a few days, so people don't often play or say good things about this game. But as I was opening drops, I was thinking to myself, you know what, Sledgehammer is doing a great job. They're putting a lot of time and effort into making this game as fun for their players as much as they can with the new content, the gear, the weapons, the theme. They're doing a great job and like, you could be really creative with different videos in here. Like for I Play Your Way, I can create a, you know, I can create classes based on specific characters, like play as the Reaper using the deadliest gun and have the outfit and the camos all match. And yo, 9mm sap heroic variant, that's looking fresh. 
Like the outfit I'm rocking now is the uh is this the sniper? I'm kind of wondering what they're going to do to add what they're going to add to blackout. Bro, they're going to be updating and adding new things like every week to blackout to keep up with Fortnite. So, new updates. I'm sure they'll add more weapons, more equipment. I'm hoping for like specific modes that keep it fun and fresh. Haley shot Skull Trooper may be coming out on Fortnite tomorrow. Would you get it? Nah. Bro, I don't even play Fortnite. I'm like the only person that doesn't care about skins in Fortnite since I don't play it. I legit bought like two skins in that game. Both that resemble Elite Shot colors. I'm just not really crazy about buying skins. Revival time increased to five seconds, I heard. It used to be really quick, but then they felt it was too fast. And uh, if you're playing squads, you down somebody, they would like instantly revive them as if they never got down, they would fully heal. So I don't, I don't mind the change, but we'll see how it plays out. All right, let's go. This is coming from Deer Hunter. He said, what's it like having one mil subs? You know, it's an amazing feeling. When I started my channel, I never expected to have a million. I thought it was a goal that I never would have reached, but I wasn't going to stop until I did. Um, now that we're here, you know, it's not like I'm any different as a person. Of course, I still enjoy doing what I do, but I know this is nothing yet, bro. We're still just scratching the surface. Road to two mil, three mil, four mil, five, ten. Like, the future's looking extremely bright, and I don't plan to stop doing what I do, ever. So, as long as you guys enjoy COD and enjoy gaming, we'll still be gaming too. Alright, this question coming from... Uh, how do you stay... How do you stay positive and motivated in all the vids you upload? You are the most positive person on YouTube. Bro, I said it before, I'm gonna say it again. Be grateful for what you have. Appreciate your surroundings. If you can walk, talk, blink, and breathe, if you have food, shelter, water, a bed, a shower, if you have all these things, a cell phone, gaming, if you have, you know, any of that, it's every right to be grateful, appreciative, to be happy, to be motivated, to be excited for the future, to appreciate what you got in your surroundings. The fact that you can walk and talk, blink and breathe, play games, bro. That's all I need to be happy. You know what I'm saying? I don't need much. I really don't. But if I can walk, talk, blink and breathe the food, water, and shelter, I'm good. I'm good, man. That's what keeps me motivated, honestly. And also, like... The future, I'm excited for it. I, I set goals for myself, so I'm excited to achieve them. And once I do, I set another goal for myself, whether it be like me getting my own house, which I have now, getting my own vehicle, which I have now. It doesn't have to be materialistic things. It could be reaching a goal in terms of uh, working out. It could be something in the game, maybe spending more time with your family. Uh, you can legit make any goal, man. Anything, anything at all. <clears throat> oh, we gotta keep opening, man. We're almost done with these common drops. Then we got a bunch of rare supply drops. Only nine of these. Duplicate after duplicate. There's still quite a few variants I don't have, so I'm expecting to get them. I legit am saving the best for last. Hey, no problem, Eric. Thank you so much for watching, dude. It's 2.21 a.m. in Oregon. It's 8.20 here in the morning. I haven't slept yet. 3.20 in Toronto. We had 666 normal supply drops. We now have 740 rare supply drops, 8 heroic weapon bribes, and 5 Halloween scream bribe, scream bribes. We started this. Look at the top right-hand corner. We started with 35,000 depot credits. We're now at 230,000 with so many variants. So many outfits. I mean, if you just look at all the stars, you could see all the, all the new stuff we got. Pretty much for every single gun, we got something new. Like, look at this thing. Look at this. I'm going to go over these because just to show you what I got so far. The Thunder Log. The Silver Saint 2. Beautiful. 
Let's see the Nambu variants. Second Horseman. Dragon 2. One of the coolest variants in this game. Super, super nice. Wow. Wraith. Nambu Type 2. The Sterling Fatal Elegance 2. Another beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gun. Wow, dude. Some of these really stand out. I love that. All right, back to the drops, folks. After scrolling through countless emotes, let's get back to it so we can actually complete this in time. Hey, Leisha, I was just watching uh, one of the BO4 beta. Uh, one of the BO4 beta that you were playing. Do you think the nine bang grenades are OP or not? I mean, if you get hit by it, it sure seems like it is. I think it has a good place in the game. I I don't know if it's like too OP. When I was playing the beta, I would make jokes saying like, yo, they should make the 9-bang or 20-bang just to make it last longer because it sometimes seems to take forever. Um, someone said check out the collections to uh, to accept my prizes. Play a match before I go. I can play a match. Fine work, soldier. Now hurry up and take. Wait, so check out what here? Collections. Oh, Rolling Thunder. Pretty sure I already had it, but we'll definitely accept it. Decent collection, isn't it? SVT, the Shack Man. Unless this is the only way to get it. I don't know if you can get him from supply drops too. Well, I'm sure you can. Not bad at all. But I will accept. Mountaineer. Hey, thank you so much, Patrick. My vehicle's a work in progress, and I'm having a lot of fun customizing it. Turning it into a battle shit. What else we got? Winter's Wild. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. I didn't have that. Not bad at all. Oh, nice. I love the look of this gun. A lot. M2 Carbine. Apex Predator. Holy crap. There's so many guns in here that we didn't have. Yo, thank you for letting me know whoever said this. Once again, shout out to Valiant Wolf, the owner of the account, who allowed me to unlock over... 2100 supply drops he's been saving since the start of the game and i legit opened everything he has all the dlc weapons most of the variants legit this man has it all and damn did that take a while to open but i hope you guys enjoyed it definitely keep your eyes peeled for bo4 gameplay once it drops i'll be live streaming I don't want you guys to miss out, so definitely stay connected. Turn on notifications. And before you go, check out my Game & Essentials, the things I use to improve my game. Controller, Control Freaks, headset. We got the gamer grip. We got everything that helps me play better. And of course, also follow me on social media. Don't miss out, folks. Thank you so much for watching. It's time to call it, though.